channel just about all right hang on just a moment hang on there's a few applications i need to exit on my desktop i think we're good to go Okay, this is weird. Um, what's going on here? Okay, okay, looks like we're good on YouTube. Hi guys, welcome to the party, Blood V1. Nice to see you. All right, so today we have a few Steam games to give away, but um, I think you guys are gonna like them because of, you know, the brand name that uh, the games have and the legacy that they have behind them. I think they're good for pretty much everyone in the family. So I had to think long and hard about, you know, these games, but it's gonna be a surprise, guys. I hate to say it, but you know, I can't, I don't wanna tell you guys, you know, straight up, up front what games I'm going to be giving away. Um, that's the only reservation that I have about it. So, looks like I can do that. Which game are we going to play today? Yes, we have a giveaway. We have a giveaway. It's going to be Steam games. Some Steam games. And they're going to be classic games that I think everybody would enjoy. So, the game that we're going to be playing today is known as Generation Zero. It's an MMO FPS. A little bit similar to Destiny in basic gameplay. But the big difference excuse me the big difference about this game is that one moment I'm having a little bit of a technical issue okay you know what I just realized I'm having a hang on let me just let me get my my streaming layout straightened out I'm wondering if my voice okay yeah my voice should be good about to get good to go so the game that we're playing right now let me change the volume it's a little bit loud on my end I don't know about you guys oh definitely too loud one moment Sorry, MSI Max Boards. I cannot tell you when those are coming out because I'm not an official employee of MSI. And the second thing is, when I was working for MSI, uh, what I can tell you is that a lot of the companies that are creating these kinds of products are bound by NDA to not disclose that. Okay, let me kind of turn things down just a little bit. Take it to 60 on these two and then we should be good to go. So this is a game, let me explain it up front. Zawan Matt, welcome to the party. Oh, sorry, let me explain. So this game uh, takes place in 1989 Sweden. And the enemies of mankind are not mankind, but a creation of mankind, machines. So we kind of got this like 1980s sort of style of uh, fashion sense in game. Additionally, the game has this very, very, how do I say this, cold way of looking at players versus machines. And as soon as I get into the game, you'll understand what I mean because the machines do a lot of damage. It's kind of like Destiny, the game, or Destiny 2, without, you know, training wheels, if you will. So here we go. This is my character. We've got, ah, I forgot. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. I'm wearing a gas mask in game right now because this base actually has like a bit of a gas leak in it. My voice is audible, great, okay. Let's check this out, what do we have here? Ok, 
Okay, so we could have... Okay, this is a cosmetic. This won't... Let me just... Uh, every time you see something like that... Like, basically, it just means that it's a it's an item that won't take up any space in your inventory. And speaking of inventory, let's open that up right now. This is about... I'm pretty full right now. And the reason why is because I recently picked up a rocket launcher. And I've got a few too many weapons in my inventory. So what I ought to do is find, a, like, an ammo stash or weapon stash where I can put all these. And then we should be good to go. Hang on. Let me adjust the positioning of my microphone real quick. This is not what I was expecting. Okay, it looks like we're just about good to go. Yeah. Hang on. I noticed there's a little bit too much glare on my green screen. There we go. That kind of fixes it. Kind of. All right. That was loud? You mean the in-game music and such? All right, so I thought about how we're going to do today's giveaway. I don't really have any solid metrics. Like before, if you guys remember the giveaways that we did on this channel, I was, can you play PUBG? I can't really play PUBG. Uh, I suck at PUBG. What I do like the idea of is introducing new games. By the way, this, is, this game is not, how do I say this? There's no co-marketing going on between the creators of this game and uh, MSI. This is actually a game that I was given to stream to my own viewers, but I also wanted to share it with you guys since I thought, you know, it might be better for the American market. So every time I see one of these things, that means that this is an item I can take and it won't take anything in my inventory. Running seems okay. I'm still looking for a place where I can store all my weapons. And uh, this SMG, I've never seen it in my life. It looks a bit like a grease gun. Next weekend, from what I understand, we should have, in addition to the games that I'm giving away today, like, uh, I'm going to be giving away two Steam codes for the games. And next week, we should have a Steam wallet code and two games to give away. Boring game, brah. Well, that's because right now I'm in the bit of... I'm in the, the stashing mode of the game. This is... I think this is the room where we had a gas leak, and then, like, that's why I decided to put on my gas mask. The game is in early access right now, by the way. I can't pick these up. Because my inventory's full. I gotta find, like, a storage space. Assassin's Creed. Call of Duty. Uh, I actually don't have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. I'm sorry. Alright. Let's see now. Where do we go? So right now we're in a bunker in the middle of Sweden. And there's a lot of these bunkers that I can find and just... Not just stash stuff, but uh, kind of take shelter. While I try to figure out where the rest of mankind here could be. There we go. Did that restore power? What did I just do? That was loud, whatever it was. Alright, okay. Let's get out of this room. I haven't found a storage depot. This kind of sucks. Boring? He's just started, lol. Nah, this, this isn't the very beginning of the game. The very beginning of the game is actually... Eh, that's kind of boring. I think I... I'm not sure, but I think I could start a new game if you guys wanted. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that right now. When is the giveaway? I'll be doing one giveaway at... In about 50 minutes from now. So that'll be at the beginning of the next hour. And then the next one I'll be doing just before I shut down the stream. So like 59 minutes after the next hour. Let's go to the main menu. And see if we can start a new game. If I can, I will. Because like I think it would be a good idea. It would be a good way to introduce you guys to the game. Let's create a new one. Let's just go with, you know, this Well, that's interesting. Where did I? Where am I now? 
Like, this is way different from the first time I started playing this game. Which one am I going to give away? That's a secret, bro. But it's a... Uh, I had to think long and hard about this because this is a game... It's a game that I have to make sure is kind of good for everyone. And when I say good, I mean um, acceptable, if you will. Like, a game that everybody's heard of. Where am I now? I really don't know. I think... Hold on. What is this? No, no, no. Stop. Okay. Let's get a look at our map. Crud. Okay, so like, right now I'm... <laughs> I can't start a new... Okay, so like, I basically just switched a character and I didn't start over. <laughs> like, the it looks like there's no way to actually restart the game. So what I'm going to have to do is reselect my character with my weapons on. Because if I don't, then I'm just, I'm dead. That's the best way I can say it. I'm going to have to go back to this guy with the, with the gas mask. All right. Well, hopefully I can find some kind of a storage room. I need to get out of this building. It's actually pretty big. My friend's birthday was yesterday. Awesome. What you guys do to celebrate? No kidding, I'm in Belgium and it's 5 a.m. right now and I really wanted to see my live stream. You mean this game? Uh-oh, enemy. The game is a little bit buggy right now. Um, I'm on the other side of a wall and apparently some enemy saw me and I don't see that enemy. Shooting this thing right here should make it explode. Right? Now that yellow means that some machine, some enemy, has become weary of my presence. But he can't get in here without opening this door, so I'll do that first. Oh wait, it's locked. Okay. Yes, that game? Generation Zero or the one for the giveaway? It's a classic game, guys. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Like, th Okay, it's a retro game. It's a retro game. Like an old game. You have a valid point. It is 5 a.m. in Belgium right now. I can verify that. Um, so, like, if you're not into retro games, you're probably not going to like it. It's all right. I speak a little bit of Dutch. Uh, well, I speak a little bit of Flums. Where am I right now? Okay, I guess I can take off this... Take this off. No, 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 no. Hold on. Profile. It's an old game, but it's a classic game. And it's it's a 2D game. The one that I'm going to be giving away on stream. So, let's get a look-see at this. Uh, is it face? Eyewear. Let's get this off. None. Okay, there we go. I can put these on. It won't change my vision any, but I can go with none. Yurik, make some tutorials for this game. I think this is a shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, why do I have a shotgun equipped? Whatever. All right, so let's see where we can go from here. I'd like to go here. I couldn't find anything in this bunker, this entire bunker. Wait, safe house? Let's go around here first. That way I can kind of drop off some items. If at all possible. And then... Enemy nearby. That's what that indicator means. Let me switch with this weapon real quick. Okay. This is like... Kind of like a... A DMR. I guess you would say this thing is a little bit like the Mini 14 and PUBG, the way it functions. But this game is also hit scan. It's not projectile based. Is this game having missions or more like multiplayer? Having missions. As far as I know, there's no P2P for the game. Check this. Oh. Wait, what? Is that a little loud? That is a little loud. Sorry, did I scare you guys? Got 
Gonna have to switch weapons. This is, think of this as like Fallout, but think of this as this game as like Fallout, but MMO. Oh God, I just realized what the problem was. Okay, so I fixed the, I just fixed the audio issue. All right, there we go. This should be more tolerable now. Apologies for the loud sounds just now, guys. All right, so I just picked up some pistol ammo from that guy, and yeah, okay. Here we go. Some more pistol ammo. Come on. What is this? Okay. So the game is clearly a little bit buggy. Like, enemies can see you through walls or at least discover you through walls. So doesn't that sound a little bit weird? Right. But I imagine as long as the dev team keeps working hard on this game, it'll be, it'll be uh, functional eventually. Welcome to the party, everyone who's just now joining. Make sure to hit the thumbs up on, uh, on the stream like it'll it'll help us get discovered oh this is locked okay now the interesting thing is in this game like i don't understand what these function for like like this is meant to pick locks right lock pick hairpin is what it says right but i can't use it to pick locks at least not not all of the locks that i've run across so far right this is just dumb when is the official release of this game? Um, I'm not sure. Like, I actually, I actually had to. Here's what I did. I asked the game devs if they could give me a a serial for this game, and so they did. They gave me a Steam key for the game. Emergency flares kind of work like decoys. I can throw them at a group of enemies, and they'll they'll just chase down the emergency flare. An explosive tank, I, I can throw that down on the ground and then throw a flare at it. And it, the flare won't blow it up, but what will happen is... Hello. First time I've run across this. Not bad. I guess this is where we're going to find a place to dump our stash. Interesting. Literally the first time I've run across this place. What is the best game ever? In my opinion, I personally like... I like the Halo series. Um, of course, it was on Xbox, but now it's coming to the PC, which is what I think everybody wants. I don't think that anyone here would disagree with me. The only, the only question I have, though, is will it be as good as you know the console version of it? Halo, Halo PC, the first time it came out, it hit the market. Okay, so Halo for the Xbox hit the market in 2001. And I was 12 years old back then. And then I built a computer when I was like 16. Hello. Story development. Plot development. Pavel Svoboda, Minkin Command. The enemy is approaching and about to engage us. We require urgent reinforcements. Repeat, urgent reinforcements. Respond, over. We have a visual. Four, five machines approaching. We won't be able to hold Saltum Sugan much longer. Respond, over. Platoon, get ready! There's a little bit of, like, something that just toys with, it, with your suspension of disbelief. Because in this game, you're supposed to be a teenager, right? But, like, 20 soldiers can't take down a single big, massive enemy with their assault rifles. But here I am with a 9mm submachine gun and some pistols. No formal military training. And I'm somehow able to kill all of the machines that the military failed to kill. Doesn't that sound a little bit weird to you guys? All right. That's that's just something that kind of toys with your head a little bit. So like, it's going to be very expensive game or not? This one? Oh oh oh. Uh, okay. So like, it's a two D retro game. It's not a very expensive game. I'm sorry. But it's classic, and I think everyone can appreciate it. I think everybody's played this game at least once. They've seen it somewhere. The the game that I will give away later. All right. I came here earlier, didn't I? Welcome to the party, Russian. 
my Russian friend, as, as well as the guys on Twitch. I can see you guys there. Okay. I thought I came to this room before, but I didn't. I'm still looking for a stash where I can put my weapons and ammo and things that I don't really need. Like, my character is nearly full in his inventory. Where am I now? Well, I couldn't find a stash here. Uh, that sucks. Looks like we're headed back this way then. Okay, let's go. I'm going. Let's go, baby. Okay. So this weapon that I just pulled out here, this is called the Automat Gevar 4 Automatic. Fires up to 20 rounds. I actually would have thought it maybe was uh, like uh, the G3A3. But that's just my opinion. In the beginning, I thought this game you would have to... Uh, uh oh, I'll bet. Oh boy, oh boy. I've been spotted, but I don't see the guy. And see, like that's what I find a little bit challenging about this game. Okay, so I gotta shoot that guy like twice. That's their weak spot. Just hit it twice. Let's try with our pistol. In the beginning, this game is painfully difficult. Like, really difficult. And then, like, as as this develops, it just gets m more and more easy because the majority of the enemies that you face are just these guys. Just picked up armor-piercing ammo. Same here. Same here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take shortcuts. I don't want to follow the roads all the time. So... Headed this way. 15 minute is done, bruh. What? Flams? Oh, um, my grandmother was in Netherlands. I learned, I taught myself how to speak, uh. So, like, I took a, a, a class in university, but it wasn't really a class. It's like you teach yourself. And I taught myself Dutch for, like, one semester in university. But. Like, I had no one to practice my Dutch with. Oh. I Okay, this isn't the place I'm looking for. But, whatever. I'll, I'll just dig around and see if there's anything amazing here. Like, I actually thought I was over here. Now I'm actually over here. These, like, small houses here. I'm pretty sure there's no place where I can just store weapons. That enemy machine is half leopard and half kangaroo. Yeah. Hard to believe it's 1989 in this game. So, like, the way things work out in, say, the game Destiny is uh, you pick up a weapon and then it's just, like, it's graded and blah, 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 blah. Well, in this game, the first weapons you pick up are, like, rusty, dilapidated is the word that they use in-game. I really want to know what games you guys are looking forward to in 2019, by the way. I, myself, am waiting very, very long for, well, I've been waiting a long time for Halo, Halo MCC, but... What's that noise? What game is this? It's called Generation Zero. Birdshot ammo. Nine millimeter full metal jacket. Fireworks. Uh, can't carry it. I don't have enough room. Not enough room. My backpack's full. So, uh, right. Halo PC was released in 2004, but the modding community was amazing. I said 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Sorry, MD Khalid. 50 minutes. 5-0, not 1-5. Uh, looks like this is a wheat field. So this is where people get their bread from.
Okay. Let's go this way. You guys remember that, that radio communication we had? Yeah, it all took place over here. And now... It's, this is kind of weird. I know it's an MMO FPS, this game, but I, I'm not sure how they determine how you connect with another player in-game. I think it's based on geography, and since I live in Asia, it might be a little bit difficult to find some players close to me. The last guy I found in-game that I played with was... Uh, he had some Russian characters in his name. So I think he might have come from Vladivostok or Siberia, and I'm physically located in Taiwan. What game is this? It's Generation Zero. It's like Destiny, but um, much more difficult. Enemies do more damage to you. And they kill you very quickly. So if you can find, if you can find friends to play with, it's amazing, I think. But if you're playing on your own, you're, you're just, you'll, you'll be fine as well. So machine... Usually these guys have a lot of ammo on their dead bodies, but apparently I can't loot these guys. All right, so let's just keep moving forward. It's not just 24-7 action, 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 action. All right, so now I'm coming up on a naval bunker, which is right here. It should be close to a harbor. It looks sick, yeah. By the way, the... The CD keys I'm giving away today do not belong to this game. They do not belong to this game. So, like, the game keys that I will be giving away are surprises. They're for a cheap game. And it's completely unrelated to this. Okay, got two enemies over there. Oh. <sighs> Painful split. Is this being streamed to YouTube or Mixer as well? Not seeing most of the chat messages. It's on YouTube. Um, that would be youtube.com forward slash MSI Gaming Global. So basically the same name as we got on Twitch, but you want to add the word global to it. Military helmet, two-tone brass. I, I'm actually curious. Well, equipping a military helmet... It doesn't say anything here. Hang on. Well, I'm using a military helmet. It doesn't say it'll reduce damage taken or not, but um, let's go back real quick. Apparel, face, eyewear, gas mask. This actually, okay, so like if I equip a gas mask, it will give me gas resistance, but if I equip a helmet, it will not give me any kind of damage control. Hang on. Let me take off the mask, the, the sorry, the gas mask, because like, it actually doesn't really help. Like, I, well, I mean, it helps, but just not in the way that I want it to help. Like, it'll it'll block my vision a little bit. Okay. I didn't pick up the ammo because my backpack is basically full right now. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. This is going to be difficult. I hit him, but not the weak spot. Ah, uh, he hit me too. Come on, stop moving. Okay, finally. Got him. Got him! Like that little cylinder, that little like, it looks like a pill. Or a tic-tac. Like that's the that's the weak spot on the guy that I'm trying to shoot. See over here? Over here? I guess not. Oh boy. Stop moving. I told you to stop moving. Alright, buddy. What am I gaming on? Like the CPU and the GPU. So the gaming machine that I'm using. The gaming machine that I'm using is a little bit old. As far as I know, MSI doesn't make it anymore in their factories. Um, I'm using the Aegis X3, and it contains a 7th generation uh, Intel i7, 
i7 processor, so basically the 7700K. And it also has a 1080 uh, GPU, MSI GTX 1080. Let me go ahead and heal up. That would probably be a good idea. So, like, this is a first aid kit. I've got seven of them right now. And uh, it'll heal me for, like, 25 points, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, it'll take me to 93 HP. Yeah, there we go. Gas station at a harbor. Interesting. I've never seen one of those before. It's fascinating. And um, since this is an early access game, I imagine the optimization is not amazing. But I'm also probably doing something wrong since we're locked at like 60 FPS. Let me check this out. Display. Dynamic resolution is something that like, uh, I, I'd rather not. It's, it's a little bit complicated to explain, but VSync on? I wanted to turn that off. Hang on. There we go. So, like, in the upper right-hand corner, we have, like, a better representation of how many FPS I can get with the GPU. Okay. So, like, this is MMO Fallout, except rewind 30 years instead of fast-forward 30 years. There we go. Good gravy. I was born in 1989. You know how that feels, guys? <laughs> this really makes me feel old. So the keyboard that I'm using is actually the MSI GK701. I first got it in 2015 and... Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry, 2016, early 2016. You scared me. Hey, hey, be quiet. Thank you. Okay. Right, uh, the TV scared me. Just that static noise, right? In case you guys don't remember, televisions used to do that. I remember. I was around for that. I remember being a kid and... Growing up in some places. Hello. What happened to this weapon? Somebody already took it. Oh. Alright. Whatever. I'm using the GK701. It's a brown switch gaming keyboard. Pretty durable. Pretty durable. It's lasted me all these years. I've got zero complaint. Well, the only complaint I have about it is if you're not an insanely clean person, you're going to get some stains on that gaming keyboard. When someone greets you for education, you greet too. Sorry. Okay. What am I gaming on? Okay, what is the keyboard I'm gaming on? I'm also using like... I'm using a mouse that came with the MSI notebook that I bought a long time ago. So does this guy have ammo on him? Looks like nope, he does not. Right now I'm looking for, I'm like th the simplest thing that I can tell you guys right now is I'm looking for a box in game. And what this box will do is you open it and you put your, your items inside and then like it just remembers that for the rest of the, for the rest of the game's existence. I can't seem to find that here. Which monitor is the best, MSI MAG 241C or Optics MAG 271C? I'm thinking about which to buy. Hi, I'm a Korea MSI fan. Um, 저는 한국어로 조금 여할 수 있어요. 하지만 잘 못해요. 네, 나는 나는 한국 한국어를 초보 이에요. 초보 이에요. 네. So, uh, right. Anyway, so. Which monitor is the best? I personally, like, I've got three MSI monitors on my desktop. One is the MSI, like, the first generation or second generation gaming monitor that they created, the Optics G27C2. Um, it was the first generation, so it's not surprising that it shouldn't be the best. But if you're looking for a cheap one, a cheap display, and you don't care about color, that should be a good one. Uh, for gaming, I would recommend either the MAG 27 CQ series or maybe the mpg 27 cq which i'm using now because not only does it have good color it also has good uh good refresh rate like it has it's 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 hard to describe it's got the best color color grading of all the gaming monitors i think korea msi fan uh actually i call myself a kim ga yong fan like, uh, yeah, I, because I come from StarCraft, sort of. 
I played. I used to play a lot of StarCraft. All right. Let's see if this thing's got a box in it where I can put some stuff. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. MSI graphics card and mainboard? Motherboard, right? Hello. Nobody looted this guy. I'll take the ammo. So this thing here uses 762 ammo. I can find a lot of that on the sol on the dead bodies of soldiers in this game. Uh, pistol ammo you can find on those orange robots that I've been shooting at. And shotgun, well, shotgun ammo I haven't really picked up, but you can find it pretty much anywhere. Okay, hopefully I can find a storage room around this base. This thing's locked, I can't get in. Yeah, this game has a lot of bunkers, guys. You can probably tell by now. So we still got... 20 minutes until about 20 minutes until I do the giveaway now I'm really wondering have I been here before because like I've seen this room somewhere else it was probably cloned by the game devs I don't know there was a weapon in here someone else took it there's some ammo here no one's taken it I have an MSI B450 Tomahawk for my motherboard I have an MSI gaming desktop and an MSI, an old MSI Z97, what's the word I'm looking for? Z97 Pro Gaming motherboard, and that one is in my streaming computer. I've always bought MSI products because they, they've always thought about, you know, esports teams and professional gaming, and they've been a very active uh, sponsor with regards to that. And, like, the thing is... They've also they've also taken a pot in themselves to sponsor my favorite pro gamers. Um, I was actually I used to be, believe it or not, I actually used to be on the Flash Wolf StarCraft roster, but I was more like a streamer instead of a professional gamer. I never actually competed in any real tournaments. I wasn't good enough. But the thing is, like, if I wanted to, I could have been one of the one of the top streamers for Taiwan and StarCraft if I wanted to. I could probably be like the fifth best, the second best if I just stuck with it, but I wasn't interested in it because, well, oh, I just got tired of the way Blizzard does things. It's just me. Just my opinion, my personal opinion. It does not re represent MSI. I would recommend Intel and not AMD because Intel has more power. Um, yes and no. Like, um, have you seen the most recent release for the AMD processors and the motherboards and such? Like, I think it was, I think it says 16 core, 32 thread uh, processor that AMD released. Let's see what happens if I shoot this guy. Anything? Nah, nothing. Go this way. Please tell me there's a place I can store some some ammo and such. Okay, now I need to wear the gas mask. Oh no 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 no! This only slightly protects me. I'll still take damage. It's just that I'll take a lot less damage. All right. Well, it looks like, you know, these rooms are kind of cloning each other. Hang on. Let's heal up. I just used two of these things. 16 core, 32 thread. Yeah, and that's from the most recent, the newest AMD processors, right? Close the door, close the door. Okay. It's
It depends on what you're looking for. Precisely, precisely. Like, um, I would say, you know, Intel, they kind of, how do I say this? They got market saturation because they, they do well, obviously. I mean, that sounds like a very vague statement. But the fact of the matter is, over the past 10 years, they've mostly had dominance over the processor market. You know, they've just been faster, stronger, better. And AMD managed to come up, managed to beat that by, or at least not beat that, but stay alive until they finally came out with a stronger processor by coming out and saying, hey, more affordable workstation, uh, workstation processors, things like that. Right, and it depends on what you're looking for. If you're just looking for a desktop that has a processor and functions correctly, you can get that with an AMD processor as well. Welcome to the party, Theo. Looks like you are out there on Twitch. Now, a quick reminder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, when we do the giveaway, I'm going to just drop the the Steam code into the chat. I'll do that in exactly 18 minutes. Oh, crud. Where am I now? Oh, hello. This was not a part of the plan. Okay. Unbearable lightness. Well, let's head out over here. I didn't think this was going to happen. Like, I, I honestly thought I was going to find some kind of a box where I could stash some weapons, some, some ammo, things like that. What is the topic right now? Basically, hardware discussion. Um, I mean, I wasn't... Well, you guys might have seen me on the, the recent Discovery Channel documentary that MSI did with, you know, Discovery. It also had Kazam. I'm sorry, Shazam. And, uh, like, the MSI MGA team from 2018, like, all the teams that were involved. Hang on. Something. Oh, psh, this is what I need to do. Okay. Just now, that base, that, that bunker, it felt like it was a 1-1 one -one clone of another bunker that I was at earlier today. Right? Twitch or YouTube? Um, so right now, like a majority of all the viewers of today's stream are on YouTube. And what I can tell you is, uh, you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. The game that I'm giving away, I'm actually, I actually have four, I have four different uh, Metal Slug Steam Key giveaways. If you guys are interested, you can stick around. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Metal Slug. Metal Slug X, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, all of those. But, uh, yeah. I spend too much time with hardware. Oh, I mean, like, it, 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 it's fun and all, but it's just, like, it's kind of expensive, kind of. You know what I mean? Who has the resources to actually go through and build their own processor? You know? I mean, I guess maybe it's possible, but yeah. Take this. Ah, oh, is it this? Oh, finally, I found a box where I can drop all the stuff that I don't need. All right, so emergency flares. I don't really use these all that frequently. Radios, basically, they act like... Um, maybe, you've, maybe you've seen the, the monkey grenades in Call of Duty Black Ops. Yeah, that's how they function. I got a rocket launcher here. I'm going to drop this over here along with some ammo. Anyone here who knows Aldi? They have a gaming rig with an MSI Aero RTX 1060. Do you mean 2060? All right. Just going to drop this here. Maybe. Armor piercing, full metal jacket. Okay, so like, 
the interesting thing about this game is they actually have two different kinds of ammunition you can use with each weapon. Like here I've got full metal jacket ammo for my pistol. And they've also got uh, hollow points as well. Give the code in private? Uh, I think like what I can do is... Hmm. What can I do for the giveaway? What I'll do is I'll drop it into the chat and then like I guess we could kind of make it a race to see who gets who who puts it in first. I'm in America, but I live in Taiwan. Yeah, I'm from the USA. These binoculars I could put here. Oh, what is that? What is that? Enemies nearby. Oh my <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. I'm just going to hold still. I'm going to wait for him to go by. Then I'm going to pull, you know, some weapons out of there. That guy is big. I don't want I don't want to mess with him. Okay, so here's what I can do. I guess I can do this. I've never used fireworks in game before. used flares before. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I just threw it in here. He's going to come over here. Okay. So I came here. I'm going to grab one of these. And I'm going to use this boom box. All right. That was... Oh, boy. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what do I have here? I got a boom box, right? Got this, got this, got the boom box, right? Oh boy, he almost spotted me. What is this? Uh oh. I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh boy, oh boy. Where is this guy? There he is. Let me see if I can use this to distract him. Hang on a second. Clean? Kind of, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That really hurt. Okay. I had no clue there were enemies here until I got in here. Like, I had no idea there were enemies in this area until I got into this building. This is just blowing a lot of ammo. I guess it's working though. That is a lot of enemies outside. What did damage to me from behind me? Okay. I guess just using architecture can really do a lot of damage to them. Hang on, hang on. Oh, 
Oh boy, that really hurt. Okay, hang on. Let's grab these. Oh, okay, so this one does 50 HP of healing. With each dose. Oh, crud. Wait, I, I gotta shoot this guy three times? That's basically like an in-game headshot. There we go. Give the code random. Yeah, I'll just drop it into the chat. Don't worry. Crud. This really hurts. Okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. We got my rocket launcher. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that here. Assault rifle silencer. Okay, let's add, let's add that to this. Wait, what? Hunting rifle silencer. I got two of those already. Don't need a third. Okay, let's take this. Let's try swapping it out here. Okay. I don't. What? I thought I had ammo for this. Okay, let's try it. In case you guys are wondering, yeah, there's like some kind of a an alien out there kind of pinging me. Is this working or not? Hold on, what is this? Okay, finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is this guy? There he is. Boom, he's gone. Where's this guy that's pinging me like a radar? There we go. Got him. Got him! Okay. Okay, we got seven minutes. Good. Gravy, I was here forever killing these guys. Okay, got lots of ammo. Soft point ammo for a hunting rifle. This guy, lots of assault rifle ammo. Uh huh. I got like almost no SMG ammo from all this. Did I kill this guy? Is this two different guys? No, it's just, wait, it's one that got blown in half. Two different guys, two different guys. Also came with a medium health kit. That was pretty good, right? Oh. Going through and making sure that, like, I check everything and I'm good to go. All right. So, I can put this... Hang on. Store item. No, no, no. Hang on. Store item. Could put that in storage. Assault rifle silencer. No, 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 no. Hang Oh, wait. I know what's going on. So another enemy is here. Okay, there we go. I just attached it to that assault rifle. I'm um, going to take the shotgun. Assign to slot. Weapon slot 2. Let's do that. What game is this? It is known as Generation Zero. Majority of us are... Is there a backstory of the game? Like, how does an alien... Oh, no, no, no. So, like, this isn't really... This isn't a bunch of aliens. This is actually a bunch of robots. And you're... you Basically, you and your friends went camping. Where is this guy? There he is. So you and your friends went camping for a weekend, and then you went back home, and you saw, oh, great, a bunch of robots have destroyed our town or our community. 
Where did this guy go? He just ran away as soon as he spotted me. Wow. Okay, so the silencer on this weapon makes it wildly inaccurate. Like, absurdly inaccurate. So you're going to have to actually use your crosshairs. Or switch to the shotgun or pistol. That works too. Okay. Hang on. Four minutes, guys. Four minutes till we do the metal slug giveaway. I figure, why not? I mean, it's a it's a classic game that pretty much everyone in has enjoyed, right? Who here has not played Metal Slug? The question is, who here has played Metal Slug and beaten the game, right? Because, like, the Metal Slug that I think a majority of us has, have played is the one that's available in the arcades, right? And so, like, basically, this game is, I guess, pretty decent to play with friends. I've noticed that the graphics look pretty solid. Um, I tried getting some ideas out of uh, my personal stream viewers, and they, they seem to enjoy it as well. Uh, I think it's a good way to, you know, pass some time. I think this game goes for, like, 30 US dollars per, per, per code. Yeah. Like, per, I'm sorry, per Steam serial code. There we go. Where'd this guy go? Like, no, really. Where? Okay, you spotted me. You run away from me. What is it, bro? What is it? Like, putting the silence on this is probably a bad idea. Hang on, boys. Two minutes, but I'm in the middle of a fight. Oh boy. I'm in some deep poop right now. Shotgun works. Alright, so I'm using bird shot in this shotgun. Um, you can also switch to slugs, but yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heal with one of these. And then I'm going to switch to the simple first aid kits. Yeah, there we go. Got to equip this as well. Maybe this as well as this. Until what hour am I going to stream? About one hour and one minute from now. Get ready, guys. We've got about 60 seconds until we do the giveaway. You should probably be, you should probably be in the YouTube channel. That's MSI. MSI Gaming Global to claim the Steam code, but yeah. Let me make sure. Okay, yeah, I can click through. All right, guys. Uh-oh. What's going on? Did I freeze here? Okay, I'm good. All right, boys. Get ready. Get ready. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go for it. That's our first key. The second key will be coming up in about one hour. Okay. Only one person can claim it, as far as I know. All right, so here we go. Oh. I think this is a bridge here. 
Can't be 100% certain. I'm going to go this way, though. So the game graphics look pretty impressive, I imagine, right? Like, you're probably not looking at this and thinking, wow, amazing, but they do look pretty good for a game that isn't entirely fully optimized to the best of my knowledge, but yeah. So this game is uh, basically like Destiny, but with a higher difficulty curve. We can all agree on that, I think. This is interesting. What's going on here? Why is it that when I hit one and two, look at the look at the ammo in the lower right right now, and then watch when I hit two. It suddenly changed, but I know that my like my webcam is blocking it, but this is weird. The code was already in the comments. Oh crud! I mean, like, I guess it's like the the YouTube stream delay. Sir Charles, welcome to the party. Honestly, I want to know what games you guys are looking forward to in 2019. Um, I'm thinking of getting into the Outer Worlds, but I, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, I heard a, I heard from a YouTuber that in October, like maybe a week from today, actually, that the Outer Worlds will be on it'll be available to play in like early access or something like that. But then the steam steam release date says like 2020, right? Enemies nearby. Okay. So the closer I get to the enemies, uh, the easier it is for them to spot me if I'm sprinting. See, there's this guy over here. He's nearly spotted me. If I crouch, I can get even closer. Personally, I'm starting to think like it might actually just be easier to go in with my pistol or my shotgun. Now, the interesting thing is I was very... In, in, very early on in this game, you're able to collect uh, nine millimeter weapons. Oh, hello. There's there's weapons here. I'm gonna try and pull their attention to this. Not sure what that does, to be honest. It looks like it's confusing them. Oh snap! There's a guy with a shotgun out here. A robot with a shotty. I hate these guys. Yes, they are more annoying than the Half-Life 2 head crawlers or head crabs, whatever you want to call them. They're firing everywhere. Oh, snap. I'm 1 HP. Ah, oh, crud. Alright. Oh. So, like, if I had teammates here, I told you this game is more difficult. They do way more damage, and I didn't heal up. I was arrogant. So, like, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to spawn here and then just, like, march my way back in. Oh yeah, there's a crazy stream delay. Outer Worlds looks sick. I was more excited for Cyberpunk, but before a lot more stuff released, now I'm more skeptical. What's going on here? I heard some kind of sound. What's interesting is the game remembers exactly how much ammo you had. Um, next time I'll use this. Another enemy nearby. Oh, crud, I'm spotted. Where's this guy? Okay, I kind of see him. I can't. There we go. Ugh, if you stop, that hurts.
Could barely see that guy. Basically nailed that guy with a headshot. There's a like a little pill canister on the top of these guys that if you aim for and you hit it twice with your pistol, it'll kill them. But for some strange reason, when I hit it twice with this, it's not enough. I gotta hit it three times. <laughs> Hashtag game logic, right? Robots plus, plus shotgun equals yep, definitely. So uh, remember, lady, remember, kids. Elon Musk's uh, warnings on artificial intelligence are very well founded. How do I join the giveaway? You'll have to wait. And I would say, I would recommend that if you guys want to join the giveaway, make sure you join us on our YouTube stream. That would be MSI Gaming Global. That's uh, YouTube.com forward slash MSI Gaming Global. We'll give you the. I'll drop the. I'll drop the Steam code into the chat, and then you can race to pick. Race to be the first one to pick it up. I think that's the fairest way I can do it because the majority of our viewers are watching on uh, YouTube. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys what a flare does if I throw it at them because it seems to have the opposite effect. Like, the fireworks will definitely throw them off. But what the flare will do is it'll just pull their attention almost immediately and they'll just kind of gawk. They'll just kind of gawk and stare at the flare awkwardly. Good question, Holmes. Yeah. I'm really excited. I don't know how to spell this for GTA 5. Really? You mean role play servers like NoPixel, for example? Some people have asked me if I have plans to play that. I'm not really like the role play, like the 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 biggest fan of role play. I know I know it, I've played in a couple of role play servers before for different games like uh in Counter Strike Source, there was this there was this uh, mod called Prison Break, and what you do is you assume the role of a prison guard, then you tell the the terrorists one by one to do whatever, and then like the terrorists, their main concern is obviously to try and kill all the prison guards. And you can just think of the silliest ways to do that, you know, like to just play it out, like you can. You can try and teach them another language, see who has the best memory, who types out the fastest. <laughs> right. It's just, it was the most interesting, I think, uh, gaming experience I'd ever had in Counter-Strike. Okay. I'm going to throw another fireworks instead of a flare. Well, this has gotten awkward. There he is. Hello. Stop running. Where'd this guy go? That hurt. How did he miss? All right, well, that's one down. Self gauge. That hurt. All right, I'll use the adrenaline shot. Where'd this guy go? There he is. Oh, crud. No! I was reloading. Okay, got him. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go. Oh, crud, there's another one nearby. These guys, if you ever find a 
passed away soldier here, usually what you can find on them is a bunch of ammo for an assault rifle. Now, I am missing one in-game assault rifle. GTA 5 and not GTA 6. Oh, has GTA 6 been announced? Oh, hello. That kind of scared me. Got another. All right, so... This is a worn rifle. I've got a dilapidated rifle. And... Some more ammo. I'm gonna remove that, and I'm gonna remove the attachment. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is attaching those and the assault rifle. There we go. I could actually drop this if I wanted right now. This is actually not as good as this. Oh snap! What is that noise? This is like a standard rifle for a soldier so the quality is slightly better what is that noise flares what is down here like I hear that I hear that sound it's just that I see nothing here Okay, read this. Letter to his parents. Mother, father, I doubt I will count, ever count, ever. I doubt I will ever not come back, but somehow hope to find this makes me. Russians. You guys said it was a matter of time before the Russians would invade Sweden. I'm sorry, I never believed you. I get it now. You must. Prague. When the tanks entered Prague. Interesting. Okay, so he's he's got Czech parents, and they live in Sweden. The entire time they were afraid. Hello. Another handgun silencer, but I've already got one. Oh. Oh, that's a handgun silencer? No, no, no. What is this? Oh, is that... What, what is this? Is this a standard radio and that's, ma that's what's making noise? Hang on. Hold E, take standard first aid kit. Okay, I guess like... Oh, all right, there we go. A field radio. So, like, let's see what this does. The field radio. Mobile rendezvous, rendezvous point for you and your friends, allowing them to fast travel to that spot. Oh, okay. First time I've ever run across this. All right. Well, that's, a, that's there's our number one, I guess. But Oh, here's a bunker. I'm wondering if there's no way inside. There are a lot of speculations about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, usually the most interesting thing to do is just wait until someone applies for a patent or shows a patent. Like, um, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Like, the Matrix 4 is a thing. Like, go check out the YouTube channel Looper, and then you'll find, you'll find what I'm talking about. Okay, it says there's two weapons to be found here, and I've only found one. So I'm going to try my hardest to find that second one. Because it's, it's, it's got to be hiding in plain sight. I probably missed it. What do you guys think? Am I stupid? Is it here? Is it in this thing? ACP hollow point ammo. This is a broken radio. Let's see what's on this guy. More ammo, simple first aid. Welcome to the party, unknown eight zero or eight unknown zero. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. Still wondering what is going on here. Where's the weapon? I dropped one here. I dropped one here. I know I dropped one here. Is it this? No. It disappeared? Did it disappear? Oh, yeah, it's this. It's this. That's right. Oh, I dropped that ammo? I don't want to drop the ammo. No, crud. Okay, yeah, I don't need that. Oh, 
Hold on. Are, do we have three different kinds of, kinds of ammo? Full metal jacket, armor piercing, full metal jacket. Okay, so I gotta combine this with this, right? Alright, whatever. I'm gonna use this ammo and see how it works. Since it's supposed to be stronger. Where is that second weapon? I seem to have missed one. At any rate, the reason why I picked up this rifle, there's virtually almost zero difference between the rifle that I dropped and this, this rifle that I have in my hand right now. The main difference is that uh, it's in newer condition. So, like, the way it functions should be stronger, I guess. Wait, there's something I missed here. There's, like, a, there's a magnifying glass, and that magnifying glass means that something can be searched here. What did I miss? It's like this deafening scream out there, and I don't know what it's from. Alright, forget about it. I already found a weapon. I don't need another, I guess. What is that way out there? I'm wondering, is that like... Is that, like, a boat robot enemy or something? That is so weird. Scarven Bunker. Oh, okay. Wait. All right. The Matrix 4 is a thing, it really is. I've got a few theories about it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to spoil it because I think they're very viable theories. Oh, uh, Salto Ten. Salto, Salto Men. So like what I'm thinking now, over and out, like main mission. I'll play so crud. Okay, let's go that way. So like this is the main mission. We're going to go for that. Totally forgot to reload my shotgun. Okay, gotta climb that. Keep going this way. Scarven bunker. Hello, what is this? Okay, armor piercing ammo is like way stronger, so I imagine like one or two shots from this thing will take down an enemy. There we go. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. No, 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 no. no. Okay, let's go. You boy. All right. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, hey. <sighs> oh man, is that going to be a long run? Okay, I guess we could check out this this little settlement between us and the the base. GTA 5. I don't know. I was never really... Uh, this is going to sound dumb. I, okay, so, like, I was the kid that grew up with the N64 and the Xbox later on in his life. So, I guess, like, I never really got into the GTA series because of that. The first GTA was on PlayStation, right? And then the second, and then the third, and then, like... Well, I think GTA 3 and GTA San Andreas were on were on the... What do you call it? Uh, the PS2. But I never actually had a PS2. So, like, I wouldn't really know that. Okay, here we go. I don't think I can hit that. That's too far away. Like the weak spot there. I just tried. 
Oh, I'm spotted. I'm in trouble. I don't have any more world flares. Ouch, that guy hit me with a shotgun from that far away? Okay. Where's this guy? See, the fireworks are even confusing me. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Like, real far away. Hello. Like, I can see that these bullets are really hurting them because they're armor piercing, right? And these guys are on, like, they got metal on them. Played San Andreas and I was a really good game for that time. Yeah, and now you can play it on your smartphone. I guess that's Moore's Law. That's just Moore's Law in progress, I guess. I'm not trying to make fun of the game, I'm just trying to say, um... Like, it's amazing, you know. Something that was created in 1999. A machine that was created in 1999. Can now be outdone by a machine that's in the, the palm of your hand. Doesn't that sound amazing? Three shots still? I still gotta use three shots on these. Oh crud, no, what did I just do? Oh boy, I hope I didn't die. Oh, I'm kind of in a rough spot right now. And now I have a screen with it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Alright, I really hate these guys with the shotguns. Oh, wait, he's still alive? Let me fix that. I'm trying to figure out where this guy is that the game is pointing me to. All right, well, in my opinion, like, I really can't see the difference between armor piercing and full metal jacket. Because to kill these guys, I still had to shoot them, like, three times in the same spot. <sighs> Excuse me. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Corrupted to the party. Lol, GG. Yeah, oh, I guess that's, you know, really, it's impressive to think, you know, like, just com I guess this is a viable comparison, you know, I was a kid, and there was a game called GTA San, San Andreas, oh wait, that was on Xbox, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that was on Xbox, yeah. It's just that I was never really a fan, so I just didn't buy it, you know? birds let's see oh okay that's one yeah i want to get rid of this guy it really took me two bullets to, t to take that guy down there's another i don't like these guys they're like head crabs from half-life but way more annoying at least i was able to take them down before they got to me because like when they get up in your face that's when it's difficult to take them down 
If I was fighting them along with those shotgun robots at the same time, I'd probably be dead. Hmm. Just frustrating. Like, really, I mean, to the to the feedback of the devs right now, I just, you know, for this game, I really feel like... Okay, the first thing is, I don't know what to do with the lock hairpins. I really don't know. That's the first thing. The second thing is, like, I can't really tell the difference between grades of ammo when it comes to um, the assault rifle, at the very least. I haven't tried full metal jackets or any other ammo. Hello. Enemies nearby. I haven't tried uh, full metal jacket pistol bullets yet. Now, what's interesting is I'm indoors, and somehow an enemy is picked up on my movement. I'm trying to figure that one out. Probably sound-based. He's off in this direction. And I was over here, too. Like, here's the weird thing. Like, I'm actually closer to the guy who just spotted me, or just kind of spotted me. And I can't see him now. Flashlight's over here. I see him. I see him. It feels like, you know, in a very oversimplified format, the assault rifle bullets are not stronger than the pistol bullets. And to clarify, the, the assault rifle bullets are 762, while the pistol bullets... See, you can see this, right? The pistol bullets are 9 mil, 45 ACP. Try explaining this logic. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, I just hit two shots. Uh-oh. That hurt. That really hurt. Oof. Got him. Okay. Alright, I couldn't really thoroughly demonstrate. That That took, like, the same amount of bullets as uh, a 762. Might be damage drop-off with range. Hey, not to be rude, but how do you enter the giveaway, or is it a contest sort of thing again? So, the giveaway is very simple. Today, I'm just dropping steam codes into our youtube channel all you have to do is be present on our youtube live stream that would be youtube.com forward slash msi gaming global now on days when i play counter-strike or PUBG, usually the way that i do things it's it's much more fair like i try to i try to get everybody guessing you know hey do you guys think i'm gonna uh how do you guys think i'm gonna do this game do you think i'm gonna and PUBG, for example, I'll ask, do you guys think I'm going to finish top 5, top 10, top 7, top 6? You know, that kind of thing. And then, like, whoever whoever guesses the closest is the person that I give the code to. Another field radio. Okay. I guess this is a sign that the game is supposed to be getting gradually more difficult. All right, where's this guy at? I see him. Okay, that was that's like one headshot. I imagine this is just one guy, right? And this is one of the things you have to worry about in this game that you don't have to worry about in Destiny or Destiny 2. Vision and brightness. Okay, that's like two headshots. Oh boy, I'm screwed. Ooh. I don't know how many bullets that was from the 762. I'm sorry, the assault rifle, but I had to couple it with three bird shot shells from a shotgun. I mean the shotgun the shotgun robots are typically stronger, but I mean it's just eesh. I failed to see the logic. Like literally this pistol, this pistol you only have to put two headshots in the orange ones. Those green ones are the ones that have the shotgun the shotgun shells. Is this a silencer? This is a silencer. Another pistol. I like this. What is this? Wait, what? I can't take this? What what is this? Am I full? Is my backpack full? This is a handgun silencer. This is a hunting rifle silencer. And this is another handgun silencer. These are basically two of the same exact things. But I want to figure out, like, what? Okay, there we go. So this is a new pistol. All right. 
it's worn, but so too is the pistol that I'm using here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it here, and I'm going to give it a shot. But hang on, damage, handling, rate of fire. It looks, oh, this is a Glock 17. It's just that it's named in Swedish. Klok 17, but I can't read Swedish. I can't really speak Swedish, so I don't know if I said it right or wrong. Yeah, you did that with PUBG, right. And you were one of the winners. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay. So the Mahler PP. This thing has slightly better damage. Rate of fire is the same on both of them. Handling is slightly worse on this pistol that I just picked up. I'm going to drop this on it. Give it a shot. Semi-automatic. Got a lot of hunting rifle ammo just now. I like that. Another handgun style. Oh, wait. That's the one I just dropped. Okay, so let's remove the attachment, which is going to be the ACP hollow point ammo. You know what? What I'm going to do is... What is this? This is ACP full metal jacket. ACP hollow point. Full metal jacket. You know what? I'm just going to toss this into this pistol. Attach. No, wait. The Mahler PP? I can only... What is this? So this is a Glock. A Glock uses 9mm ammo. 32... Wait, what on earth is this? No, okay. I chose to remove attachment, and when I did that, I chose the ACP hollow point ammo. Clock 17. Standard issue pistol. Hello. Looks like we're stuck using 9mm bullets for this. Uh, That makes sense to me. Okay, so where's our 9mm full metal jacket right here? I got 11 of those, and that's it. 12-gauge 12, 12 slug ammo. 32 ACP. Let's try attaching the 9 mil. Wait, what? I can't do that. Okay, let's try this. Attach. Only the Mahler APP. Let's try... This is really weird. Attach Mahler PP. I can only do that with a Mahler. Okay. Well, that seems strange to me. I cannot use any ammo with this pistol. All right, so let's swap those. So right now I got a new pistol. It's just that that pistol is... Well, I can't use it. Oh, two times red dot scope. Attach to... I can only do this on the shotgun or our assault rifle. I'll put it on the assault rifle. I'll see how this looks because this is the first time I've actually used one of these. Okay, so basically a red dot sight. Um, stuck at one level of zoom, and that's it. Going to take a nap until the next stream. All right, well, good luck, but... Oh, you're going to take a nap. So you're saying until the next stream. Gotcha. So once more, uh, the giveaway for today's game is just going to be, you know, it's not going to be the game that you're seeing on stream right now. It's going to be a classic game. I think everybody's played it before, and I don't think anyone's got any complaints about it. I'm wondering what, if anything, is over on this island. Hello. I like the idea of using the RDS, the red dot sight, with this weapon better than the four times scope, but that's just me. I think the four times scope, the one to four times scope, is actually better suited for the hunting rifle. Hang on. What I'm going to do is. Use the flare. I don't like the fireworks here. The fireworks just make noise and distract people. Okay, that's one. Oh, boy. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Why 
is reloading so slow in this game. Oh boy. Okay, got one. Got another. Got another. Is that all of them? I still hear the combat music. I don't see any more enemies though. All right, let's check this out. More pistol ammo. Let's go, baby. I guess we got them all. Uh, here's a power source I need to turn on. Oh, 9mm full, me full metal jacket ammo for a handgun. Looks like I've been looking in the wrong places this entire time. Okay, so here we can do that. And now we can do that. So now this is me using the Glock. Oh, okay. And this is uh, like a, a head crab stuck here. You don't want to have this guy around here, so you want to shoot him. Ouch! What the... F Yo, I shot you. You should be... No, no, you don't do this to me. I shot you, okay? I'm in control here. It's so like... That power source is kind of scrubbed right now. Kind of scrapped, whatever, whatever you want to call it. You say tomato, I say tomato. So these are the weaker guys. Um, and when I say weaker guys, I mean, of course, the enemies that I just just killed. Um, I was thinking to myself, well, that, that was easier than I thought it would be, you know? Okay, let's go. All right, let's go, baby. Looks like this is the entrance to a bunker. More specifically, this car is the target. I, I don't know if this is where that, that, like, soldier, his parents are or something. More handgun ammo, more assault rifle ammo. Kind of a mix of everything. Handwritten note. No ammo here. Well, that was kind of scrambled. Um, I've got a full inventory again. It would be nice to drop off some ammo. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. I mean, you guys can agree. Oh. Uh, crud, my inventory is full. How do I get in here? Okay, like, I cannot unlock this thing, and I want to unlock it and get in. Crud. Okay, so now where do I go? I'm wondering if this is, like, for a later part of the game or something, but I can't really tell. Track, remove waypoint, remove waypoint. Sharpen bunker. Uh, okay, okay, I'm trying to figure this out. We just went there. We cleared that place out. Found enemies. Found n a new, slightly better rifle. Giveaway is on our YouTube channel. Make sure you're tuning in there. That's youtube.com forward slash MSI Gaming Global. On the roof, maybe? Uh, like, these buildings always have roofs, but yeah, but there's, like, almost no way to get in. All right. We came here, we got that note. Now the question is, where does the game want to send us? There's a big question mark on my head at this very moment in time. Like, I kind of have two choices here. I can kind of head, like, this way. I would kind of, I could kind of head about this way, but that's a longer route to take, I guess. Or what I could do is I could kind of head over this way and see what's on the other side of this, like, kind of bridge area. There is a community nearby I can check out, and I guess that's what I kind of feel like doing right now. But let me see, like, as the suggestion here is, what games are being given away? It's a classic. I've got uh, a CD key for, well, not a CD key, a Steam key for one of the Metal metal Slug, uh, for, for the Metal Slug franchise. <clears throat>
Yeah, I couldn't get in through the roof either. There's enemies here. Kind of been spotted. I'm going to check this place out and see what's out here. Like, that's what's really perked my interest for the time being. I feel like whenever I'm zoomed in, it's not like one-to-one -one on the level of my... What's what I'm looking for? My my original looking speed. So I just wanted to fix that real quick. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've got enemies down here. I just need to spot them. Okay, so there's one. Holy... How does that... Oh! Oh! Oh, man! That was so fast, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to respawn. All the way over there. Is that right? Uh, no. No, no, no. Crud. I'm gonna have to respawn all the way over there. You're serious? Oh, over 1.5 kilometers away. So now I'm just stuck running and running and running and running back to where I just died. Can you believe that? That was just. Oof. Didn't even have a chance to feel it. All right. Well, at least I can put away some of the stuff that I looted out here. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, okay, so that's why I get, that's why I need these. Okay, gotcha. That makes perfect sense now. Like, this is actually meant for... Um, how do I explain this? Okay. So, like, in-game, these were introduced to me so that I could uh, save at places that don't have safe houses. Like, I'm literally over a kilometer away from where I just died. So, like, in-game time, we're going to have to run and run and run and run and run and run some more. And then run and run and run and then run some more. And run and run and run a little bit more and then run and run and run and then run some more because I didn't use that thingamajig. Yeah, you see that waypoint? It's all the way over there. And now, like, it's very, very far away. I don't think, yeah, I cannot run in a straight line to that direction. I cannot. I'm thinking, like... I might literally be spending sixteen minutes running over there. Where on earth is this guy? Got him. All right, got some robots over there. That darn robot. Here they come. Literally. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I don't know if I can do it with this weapon or not. But, like, the beginning pistol of this game, if you shoot one of these guys twice in this canister, that's one. Missed. Another miss. Two. Literally, two pistol shots. Two 9mm bullet shots. Kill this guy faster than three 7.62mm bullet shots. What? It's like, which is healthier for you? Uh, like, water or hydrogen? Like, you can't drink hydrogen. That's the only spoiler I can give you guys. You can drink water, though, right?
Hola, and welcome to the party, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to be, like, spending literally close to 20 minutes just running back to where we died. <laughs> and we're probably going to die there again. Maybe. Anyway, it makes perfect sense that we can respawn right over there. Okay, and we're about to take a big left. Well, not a big left. More than likely what we're going to do is we're just going to end up curving around the water here. We can't actually jump into the water. If we jump into the water, what's going to happen is we're basically going to disappear. Remember, guys, um, to be honest, like just hitting the thumbs up on this live stream does a lot of help, by the way. Helps us grant helps us get some exposure, just so you know. Thumbs down also helps. I'm serious. Hashtag YouTube algorithm. Wait, is this an Are there more enemies here? Nah. This is that the rifle that I dropped. I honestly don't know why making that noise and i just realized something i'm a doofus i forgot to drop all this ammo inside that big box that we just found right another radio i can use that just in case Smoke that comes out of this pistol is a lot more than I thought it would be. Uh, okay, so what is this? I know this is like a bunker, forward slash safe house, whatever you want. Giveaway, like I said, it's on the YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash MSI Gaming Global. Hello. Couldn't find it. Oh, like, I've, one thing that's just definitely driving me crazy is the sound of that robot noise. Like, that <laughs> kind of sound is like it literally comes from the robots in game, the machines. Hello, Mishra. Welcome, Razi, and yeah, rip, GG. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to activate this thing. That way, if I die, and I'd like to change my mind, if I die in-game, I can respawn over here and then just decide where I want to go. Like, to be entirely honest, the... There's actually multiple differences between this game and, uh, say, Destiny 2. I'd say the biggest one is that this is this is kind of open world, but at the same time, it's only forward progressing open world. You know what I mean? Like if you if you take a game like Morrowind or uh, Oblivion or Skyrim, you've got quests that you can do in pretty much every city until you complete all of the quests, right? But in this game, it's like. Okay, there's robots on that bridge. Very big robots on that bridge. I'm wondering if the boat that I just shot at is a friendly or an enemy or abandoned or whatever. Like, that's what's really got my interest right now. But I'm thinking it looks like maybe one of the, the robots on the bridge kind of sunk it. Let's 
Thunderstorm. I don't know if the game's weather systems are dynamic or static, but um, I'd say it's probably dynamic and not static. Just my opinion. Hang on. I was thinking maybe I had some propane I could throw at this guy. Gotta empty another clip into this guy, otherwise I'm dead. Got him! I wonder if there's anyone behind him. Got him! Bridge guard is what this guy is. He hit me once. Alright, so like... I got the ammo... Like, the ammo that I used to kill him is what I got paid back in, I guess you could say. Just on this bridge, trying to loot this truck up ahead of me. Maybe check out that other side of the bridge. Like, I'll be straight with you guys. Like, what I did here was basically took the long way around. So it's like, you know, there's one general direction I had to go in. And I guess I had a choice with how I took it. Oh, man. Like, if, okay, so if, if I just waited for that guy... And I was on that side of the bridge, and I had the right scope. I could have just aimed at that, and then just watch. Boom. Watch this. Watch this. I could have just used this to take care of him. Would have saved me a bunch of bullets. So like I said, the beauty of this game is like how you can kind of accomplish or go about uh, finishing a goal or accomplishing a goal in-game. There is no one single solution to fixing a problem. Got another gra gas mask. However, I thought, and I guess I was wrong about this, I thought that there was a point where you could just, uh, what's the word? I thought there was a point where you had to, had to feed your character or he, he or she would like starve to death or die of dehydration or something like that. But uh, nah, this game is not Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, which I have played. I actually like the game. Frustration is actually... Hi, MSI GL63 user here. Yeah. Actually, the GL63 is actually pretty good. Um, although I myself have previously used an MSI GE63 Raider VR. I gave it to a friend of mine who needed a computer. Oh no, is there a new robot? Let me check out this. I forgot to get a look at this. Oh, this guy's in. Okay, that's a robot in the water. I always thought it was a boat. I guess he got wrecked. All right, so giveaway in six minutes, guys. Make sure you are in the YouTube channel. Also, make sure you guys like the stream for us. Need a code game, bro? You mean a game code? Unfortunately, the, the Steam keys that I have to give away today are not for this game. <sighs> Alright, so we got a mission here in Scogsbo. Very small town, like... Almost nobody here. It could just very well be this one little building and that's it. Here we go. Note on the fridge. Military is escorting everyone to the bunker. Every emergency procedure stuff. No questions asked what was going on in Sweden. The sucks you're back home now of all times. Go to our Kern at the end of the path. 
Hive of the Gods. Remember, I have a failure. Just go there. Your good old Johan. Okay, looks like we got a mission. Maybe. I guess not. I have no idea what that document I just picked up was and what it did. Like, it was just a, a personal note from one person to another. Okay, well. Okay, let's go upstairs, see if there's anything else to take here. Or Wait, oh, let me know. Johan's last diary entry. Okay, let's check this out. A man named Johan left a note for his wife, Steffi. Let her know they placed an emergency supply stash for her at near Karn at the top of a nearby hill. Hmm. I'd say this is that nearby hill. Let's go there. Four more minutes, guys. Four more minutes. Remember, if you guys want your chance to win the giveaway, you have to be in the YouTube, the YouTube live stream. I will not drop it in the Twitch live stream. I'll drop it in the YouTube chat. So, like, there's a weapon stash on a nearby hill, according to the guy's diary. And, like, this is the only nearby hill I can find. I put a waypoint at the top of it, a personal waypoint. And now I'm looking to see if we have it or not out here. Okay. Log. A cairn. What is a cairn? <laughs> Alexa, what is a cairn? Oh no, enemy nearby. Alexa, stop. She thought it was a she thought I said can as in like food stuff. Okay, this has gotten really weird. Some guy spotted me, someone didn't. I entered combat, then I exited combat. Um, okay. Well, it is a little bit. We've got about one minute, boys. Get ready. Get ready. Hang on. I'm going to take my character back inside that house. If I get interrupted by combat, ah, oh, crud. Well, here's some enemies. What on earth is going on here? Oh boy, it's this guy. This ought to take care of him. It did. Took a lot more bullets than I thought it would. Okay, let me get indoors and then I'll drop you guys the code. Get ready. Okay. Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm in a bit of a I'm in a bit of a jiffy right now. Oh, 
I'm dead. Oh, well, he's waiting for me to go away. All right. Well, I'm alive now. Like I said, this game has a is a bit more difficult. RX 590, nice. I don't have an RX 590. Okay, let me get indoors. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop you guys the giveaway. Hang on. Wait, what is that? Okay, get ready, guys. Get ready. I found a safe zone that, like, I guess I can't get killed in, so. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Get ready, boys. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh. Hang on. I just had the weirdest feeling in my throat. <clears> throat> like, it was almost like I, I vomited, but I didn't vomit. <coughs> Like, I guess I'm just getting older. Okay. So, boys, get ready. We are just about to drop that code. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Ugh. Here it comes. Get ready. Get set. And... 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Ah, I'm gonna have to clean up the stream now. Mm. Really, really, really. <sighs> Goodness. Now I'm feeling considerably better, but... Uh, in all honesty, I want to thank everyone for tuning in today. It's been a lot... It's been a lot of help. You guys know what to do with that, right? So now what you do is you take that, good job, good job, good job, too. Rare Wear Fan 64, awesome. It's been great having you guys on board. Um, I think today we are doing, we're going we're gonna to have more giveaways next weekend. So make sure you guys are there at basically the same time, same place, minus two hours ago. So like next, exactly, almost exactly one week from now but minus two hours, we will be doing a similar streaming activity again. Okay? So that's it for me. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one, guys.